hiding within new life is mystery. What will this little one look like? Will he or she have mom's eyes and dad's smile? What color hair will they have? Will it be curly or straight? Will they sing like a bird or have a hard time carrying a tune? New parents look forward to all the firsts. The first smile, the first cooing sound, the first words and the first steps. Then come the growing pains of a child progressing and developing individual thoughts, ideas and opinions. Ultimately, parents hope to guide the child into a productive human being. What will he or she grow up to be? A good student, a track and field star, a doctor. Unfortunately for some parents, those mysteries, hopes and anticipation are dashed by something unforeseen, something so tragic and yet so preventable. In 2011, an estimated 6.9 million children under the age of five died. Of those deaths, nearly half, 45% to be exact, were attributed at least jointly to fetal growth restriction, suboptimum breastfeeding, stunting, wasting, and deficiencies of vitamin A and zinc. Basically, these young lives were cut short by poor maternal and child nutrition. Another tragedy is that among the survivors, an estimated 165 million children under the age of five were stunted in 2011, meaning full growth and developmental potential would probably never be realized for these children. Stunting cannot be cured, only prevented. In 2012, the World Health Assembly set a global target to reduce the numbers of stunted children by 40% by the year 2025. That would mean an additional 70 million children on their way to a strong and healthy adulthood over the next 13 years. The journey to reduce that number begins with education. So, what is stunting? Stunting is the impaired growth and development that children experience from poor nutrition, repeated infection, and inadequate psychosocial stimulation. The World Health Organization, or WHO, has developed child growth standards those standards describe normal child growth and are applicable to all children regardless of ethnicity, socioeconomic status and type of feeding. Children are defined as stunted if their height for age is more than two standard deviations below the World Health Organization child growth standards median. There is evidence that clearly demonstrates stunting in early life particularly in the first thousand days from conception until the age of two, has adverse functional consequences on the child. Some of those consequences include poor cognition and educational performance, low adult wages, lost productivity, and, when accompanied by excessive weight gain later in childhood, an increased risk of nutrition-related chronic diseases in adult life. Most parents recognize the importance of good nutrition for babies. What they are not aware of is that stunting begins in utero, even before the baby is born. There are support programs developed in some parts of the world to help low-income families provide nutritional food for their babies, with little done to prevent stunting while the mother is pregnant. A study in Malawi found a cumulative difference of 10 centimeters in stature at age three years between Malawi children and the median of the World Health Organization child growth standard. Of the total 10 centimeters deficit at three years of age, 20% was already present at birth. 20% occurred between birth and six months of age. Another 50% occurred from six to 24 months. And the last 10% surfaced between ages two and three years old. Linear growth in early childhood is a strong marker of healthy growth, given its association with morbidity and mortality risk, non-communicable diseases in later life, and learning capacity and productivity. It is also closely linked with child development in several domains, including cognitive, language, and sensory motor capacities. How can you stop stunting? An adequate intake of nutritious foods, the prevention of infections and opportunities for social interaction, play and stimulation are among the factors that can contribute positively to the achievement of a child's full potential for growth and development.